What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's one, we're not really doing much automotive stuff. I'm currently in Perth, Western Australia, celebrating my best mate engagement. So we're having an engagement party on Saturday night. Uh, congratulations to you, Ben and Monique, on the engagement. And also, shout out to Monty and Kelly for lending me this car and giving me a place to stay for the next couple of nights. So, I appreciate all of you. And again, congrats to Ben and Monique. Now, this video is pretty much, the best way to describe it would be the most satisfying video for any Australian dad. Now, obviously it's not exclusive to Australians or males, but as far as the stereotype of, a, of an Aussie dad goes, this is the video for it. We've got slow cooking on a smoker. We've got lawns. We've got mowers. We've got a shed tour, you name it. This is the ultimate dad episode, so. If you're into that sort of stuff, you'll like this video. If not, just skip it and go to another one. That's all right. And uh, hopefully the content that's coming will be a bit more suited for you. But uh, starting off, I'm going to go straight into a bit of a tour of Hursty's shed, which is unreal. His backyard's unreal. He's got a real mower, so it's got the perfect stripes in the grass. His shed set up to be a man cave, bar, workshop, you name it. It's all of it. So I just want to show you guys because I know how much hard work's gone into uh, getting the yard looking as good as it is and the shed and whatnot. So uh, Ben did a bit of a, a tour for us, showed us around his shed and uh, there'll be a few clips of his grass as well. So just leave in the comments below, congrats to Ben and Monique because you know, engagement's a pretty big thing and I'm stoked for them. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the, uh, the tour of the shed. He also does a little walk around of his ute, which is in front of us here, his BT50. So I hope you guys like it. I'm stoked to be here, here for about a week. So. Yeah, hope you guys like it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right, so this is the shed. Uh, we'll start off with the Webbers. So, I uh, started off with uh, first ever Weber, which was uh, my partner's Pops, which is the one on top of the fridge. Uh, that's 92 model. Uh, these three are all 98 models, so they're birth year kettles. Uh, that's a 86. Um, this is my latest smoker. Makes life a bit easier than the Webers. Um, a bit more stable, and can do some really nice stuff in it. And my original gas Weber Q, which is great for everything. Uh, oh, and the table Weber, which is just handy for doing wings and stuff, gives a bit of table space. Bit of a pallet bar setup, just pretty simple. Um, Nice and easy just to be able to sit around here when you're cooking. Um, and then got another bar. My partner actually made this bar for, uh, I think it was my birthday. Um, she made it herself, which is pretty cool. Didn't you make this as well? Uh, we sort of made that together. Uh, Very yeah. nice. But yeah, I came, came back from being away from work and she'd made it as a surprise, so, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, some CC stuff in the pub. Um, CC is one of my favourite drinks, so... If you couldn't tell. Yeah. And then that's on the, up the top there. Welcome got that for me, actually. Yep, one of the best presents of all time. Yep, when I first got the... Oh, it was when I was getting ready to make the shed. Um, number plates, I've always liked collecting number plates. And I sort of had a few and then sort of grew from there. Um, that's the, all the US plates, uh, the Aussie ones over there, but they're pretty cool. Some of these US plates are super old, like I think the oldest is about 1958, uh, 60s, 70s, all the way up until a lot of newer ones. And this one here is your one that's yeah. signed by Mighty and Moo, Mighty Car Mods, pretty cool. Yeah, that's, a, that's an actual big plate uh, that I own that I haven't used in years. Um, Same with these ones. Yeah, the Mid and Mad as well. Very cool. So both those plates yep. are on a uh, EG Civic that's turbo and everything, which is on the channel, and yeah, MX-5, which yeah was built right here. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else? Just got some other things I've got on the wall. Just sort of collected on along the way. Um, hubcaps and whatnot. Some old Weber lids I've had. Um, a little comfy couch too. Yeah, which it's is just good. a bit of a shed couch, which is nice. Uh, I've got the fridges, um, 
And yeah, it's got a little bit of a dispenser we just got. Yeah, this bad boy, this is very cool. Gave that a bit of a workout last night, yeah. so. Last night it was. Shot dispenser, which actually does yeah. almost two shots per serving, I guess you could say. Um, and then yeah, so I've got a big lot of shelving, which has just got some, some random stuff, um, but there's some more sort of old school stuff, which I'm, we'll work on putting up at some point. <laughs> Piston that's seen a, bit, a few better days. Yeah, so just little bits and pieces. Bit of a Yeti collection. Yeah. Those ones. All of those ones and plenty more inside. Yeah, lots of Yetis. Um, over here, I'm <coughs> pretty big into chainsaws as well. Um, so, got some, some saws there. Uh, we like to get, well, I've got a wood fire inside, so, start off with one, but they're pretty. <laughs> Pretty addictive as well. Um, this is a pretty cool workbench. Uh, bought, the, bought the frame. <laughs> bought the frame and then um, got the wheels put on properly so it's super heavy. Like it weighs about 100 kilos. Um, locks on the wheels, it's really solid and it's just really good to move around uh, when you need it. But it works out to be a pretty cool setup as well now with the dartboard. So. Perfect drink holder boy here. So you play darts here. Throwing bullseyes. So you've got darts set up here and then have your drinks here. Um, compressor, it's an old school um, compressor but it's actually really good. Uh, pumps heaps and it's not like, not loud like those new ones. So it's nice. Um, Custom made bin just there. Yeah, I started making these. I sold a few. I sold probably about 15 of them now. But um... They're literally just like a Penrite oil drum that I've cut the tops off, put a bit of this um, pinch weld on it and um, made them for bins. People liked them, so I started making them. Um, Same also, with uh, yeah. these bad boys. I've also made these, uh, these tops from Bunnings. Um, screwed down, you can sort of see here, this is the blue one. Oh, they're pretty nice. They're going to be um, to sit around and drink. Uh, for the party. Um, Big then, toolbox? Yeah, it's this. So yeah, the Jimmy Tools toolbox I've had for oh, probably about a year now. Um, really nice, pretty heavy duty. I'll put that top on it just so it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Heaps of tools. I'm big into Milwaukee as well, so I've got tons of Milwaukee stuff. Milwaukee everywhere? Yeah, I've got the, um, heaps of Milwaukee tools, just sort of building up the tools as we go. Um, but yeah, lawn wise, so I'm pretty, pretty big in the lawn. So these are the mowers I've got at the moment. So they're Rover 45s, uh, pretty popular these days around the lawn scene. Um, got a groomer, that's a select 10 blade. Uh, and then this is, this is my main mower that I use. Boy. It's a big Elro. Um, so it's yeah, nice big Honda on it. Uh, it's just super heavy. It just cuts a lot nicer than the Rovers, but it is a lot heavier. But it's a nice big 26 inch 10 blade reel split roller as well, so super nice. Um, and then yeah, the yeah the groomer, and the 10 blade, and then yeah I got this top dresser which I haven't used yet. Um, it's the only one in WA at the moment. Uh, German made. Uh, originally, yeah, my intention is to hire it out. Uh, once I've used it, I'll hire it out. But essentially, you fill the sand and it spreads the sand nice and evenly. It makes life a bit easier for top dressing, which is something you'd do, you know, three times a year if you need be. Which makes um, the lawns look as yeah. good as it does in this little sticker right there. Yes, yeah, so that's a few. So that's a bit of uh, inception we're currently in here right now. <laughs> the hoist is, um, yeah, so it's a Leaf King four ton hoist from um, Hero Hoist in Queensland actually. Got sent over from, uh, I think it's from the Gold Coast. Uh, it's been really good. Uh, I use it a fair bit. My, my ute, four drive like normally lives in here. Um, right there. And then Got to run the Oz Automotive too on all the cars here and twice on the hoist. Yeah. 
think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, that's about it from out here, from in here. So this side is the the yeah. man cave side. Plenty of fun. This side's obviously working on the cars and whatnot, and that side's a bit of a bit of both, really. Dartboard, big workbench that doubles as a uh, drinking table, and yeah, a bit of a combination of both. And to top off, to uh, see what those mowers can do, you walk out, and here is the nicest grass in Western Australia. <laughs> uh, so this is a shed out front. It's mainly just got the cars. Uh, I wash cars in there and everything, which is nice. Um, big driveway out the front. And then got the full side access. So I've got the double gates through here. And can get drive all the way through the shed. So from here, as you can see, such a friggin' nice backyard. All this concrete, very freshly done in the last couple of months or slash year. And yeah, there's the shed, the garden shed, obviously the one out the front on that side, and then the perfectly cut grass. So while we actually have this out, gonna give a bit of a, a walk around of this, this trusty steed here, which is, what would you call it, a tourer? Is that? Weekend, weekend camping setup. Keep it fairly, uh, ready to go, so it doesn't take long to get ready and go. Which, I don't know what this colour's called. Do you know what it's called? No, there's not a lot of them around. It's like a, it's like a bronzy, almost gold. like champagne-y sort yeah. of. It's bloody nice. Obviously, there's a few little yeah. spots, but yeah, the colour itself is very, very nice, especially with the black wheels. Yeah, it's getting pretty old now. 2008, so. Um, but yeah, it'll be pretty much swag. Gazebo on the roof. Um, fridge and the battery behind it, uh, it's out at the moment. That's on a fridge slide. Um, and then I'll have so I've got two drawers. This one's sort of just tools, a uh, bit of odds and ends. Always lives in here. First aid kit and everything. Um, and then, yeah, just sort of like all the camping stuff, cookers, everything you need. I've uh, got water as well, so that one plugs into here. Your valve, so you can go, that sort of lives like that, so you got water. The tank is along the back. Um, then you got wings in here, like got compressors, another uh, compressor in there, a few other things in there. Uh, it's on, it's got a long range tank. Uh, it's got airbags in the back. That's uh, bagged. <laughs> Same, so does mine. Yeah. Rear, uh, rear bags, no, um, and then yeah, just the lights, but pretty much perfect weekend setup. Just fill the fridge. Uh, normally I have the Barbie, so I've got a, a baby web, like the Weber Q, baby Q, which I take, table, uh, chairs, and everything that all goes in there. I'll take a chainsaw if it's winter um, for a fire, that's all. But yeah, just nice, simple setup, cheap setup. You don't need, I mean, it's no like 79, but it uh, does everything well. Does everything nice and reliably for what you need it for. Obviously, he's not going to do crazy four drive tracks, but just no. for nice campsites here and there. And it's not great off road. Um, diff is very open. <laughs> um, but yeah, just for just for getting away for the weekends, are perfect for cheap. Like I mean, I got this pre-COVID for. Uh, yeah, it's 10 grand. So and that was with most of the setup for ready to go. So it's, nowadays it's pretty good. Yeah, $10,000 for a yeah. awesome setup camping car. It's nice inside, got car play inside. Um, and yeah, just, just good. Nice spotties, kings. And the banner that adds 400 horsepower. Very cool. So, like I said in the uh, in the intro, this is like the most dad video I've ever filmed. We got the cruiser, well, the weekend getaway car. We got the lawns, we got the shed, we got mowers, chainsaws, and toolboxes. So, and barbecues. Yeah, and barbecues. So, if you're a dad that is living the Aussie dream, well, this is the video for you.